interested in issues relating to rest area safety, bus occupant protection, and potential driver fatigue and medical fitness. For the last month, our I team has been investigating issues that federal officials say may have contributed to the recent deadly Greyhound bus crash in Highland, Illinois. Tonight, our Paula Vassan takes an in-depth look at how driver fatigue is impacting the trucking industry in a big way. July 12th, 1.48 in the morning. A Greyhound bus heading to St. Louis crashes into tractor trailers parked along an exit ramp. Three people die. Many more are injured. Since then, our I team has come to the site again and again to talk with those who live this every day and understand their biggest struggles on the road. A top one, sleepy driving. It's one of many factors federal officials are now looking into. How big of a problem is lack of sleep for bus and truck drivers? It's very dangerous. They need to be able to pull over and take another nap if they have to. But truck driver Kevin Collette says that's not always possible. The drivers need to have more input into what they will and won't do. It's why he paid $40,000 for his own truck to operate his own business. That's why I have my own authority. He tells our I team he would not work for a bus or truck company. He believes they too often push drivers to exhaustion, even though federal regulations say commercial drivers can't drive more than up to 11 hours after 10 hours off. But Colette says the rules are not always followed. And companies often face violations for what are called hours of service, or how long a driver can be on the road before getting time to rest. A new report from an industry inspection association shows it's a top driver violation. Colette tells us it's because companies are pushed to maximize profit, with middlemen making promises that are hard to keep. Well, they're the ones pressuring. You know, you make a promise to get to the customer, hey, I'll move that for, you know, $1,000 and I'll get it down there in four hours. But the driver hasn't slept. And then sleep becomes harder. Well, you get all hopped up on caffeine and five-hour energy and you don't sleep. Attorney Ryan Zell says it's putting everyone on the road in danger. He represents people who've been injured by bus and truck drivers. They're not breathing properly in the middle of the night. A common problem he sees, obstructive sleep apnea. It's a serious sleep disorder that happens when breathing starts and stops throughout the night, leading to lack of sleep. Research by the Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration shows about one in three commercial drivers have the condition. And so they're sleep deprived. For other reasons too. Drivers tell us scarce parking only adds to sleepiness behind the wheel. We discovered many drivers are forced to park illegally to get rest. Have you ever fallen asleep at the wheel by accident? I've been to that point where I was looking for somewhere to park and there was nowhere. Um, I could feel the fatigue setting in. I knew I needed to get somewhere safe and parked, and I blinked my eyes, and I woke up, and I was probably, I don't know, I was probably 100 feet down the road, and it started to, it, it scared me. Would you say lack of parking is impacting how rested drivers can be? Yeah, it can be, because I'm going to keep going further out until I find somewhere with adequate parking. The roughly dozen drivers we interviewed on and off camera as part of this investigation tell us lack of parking spots and driver fatigue have gotten worse over the years. And often, they don't get attention until tragedy. We reached out to some of the biggest commercial bus and truck companies in the U.S. We asked about how they're responding to drivers concerned about sleepiness on the road. A Greyhound spokesperson tells us the safety and care of customers and employees is a top priority. For more reaction, head to KSDK.com. For the I-Team, Paula Vassan, five on your side. And again, officials have not yet determined what caused the Greyhound bus crash in Highland, Illinois. Our I-Team will continue pressing for answers. If you have a tip for Paula and the five on your side I-Team, leave a voice message at 314-444-5231. You can also email Paula Tips at KSDK.com is the email address, and all calls and correspondence will be kept confidential.